What's up? My name is Joel. I'm James. And I'm David. And we are 12 Spies. And we just wrapped up shooting our music video for You Lost It All. It's our single, our first single. We're excited about it. We took some footage while we were there and we're going to take you behind the scenes and let you see kind of how it was made. Here we go. All right, we are here. We got this Joker. The Joker unloading right here. What up, boss? What all you got? Got the rack. Just unloading, getting ready. Oh, yeah. It would help if I was actually helping and not just filming you, wouldn't it? Alright, we're gonna get loaded in. We got this Joker. What's up? What's good? Oh. Man, what's up, James? What's up, big dog? Is that you? I actually found a nice shirt at Walmart, I think I'm wearing. There you go. Oh, nice. Yeah. I got us some waters. Thank you, sir. I got some too. What's up? Yeah, I'm just filming just to film. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, it looks super cool in here. I was never here. <laughs> not see me. I'm gonna have to destroy that that chip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you don't want your name on. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Guitars and stuff over here. Cool. Oh my goodness. Good afternoon. Hey, what's happening? And setting up drums. We got mic set up. David's over there getting his wardrobe figured out. There's Cody. <laughs> getting uh, all the hardware put in. Nice camera. Ah, turn around. Yeah, man, it's getting set up. All right, so David, what was your experience recording? Oh, man. Putting the me video? on the spot. Putting me on the spot, <laughs> guys. It was surreal. I don't know if you guys thought the same thing, but man, it was crazy because I saw myself on screen for the first time, and it was like a legitimate screen, like. A movie screen or whatever and that was just surreal like that that was that's what I would say my takeaway would be the other thing was I was super nervous at first and I think as I continued I just kind of like loosened up um, I was really concerned about like hitting the right notes and like making sure I got up to the mic on time and then eventually I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to be super laid back, kick it, just be loose and I think that that worked a whole lot better. Kind of. I saw his uh, the playback. They had a little playback screen on set, and you could see David's bass all up close. I'm like, that looks like a pro movie already, and it hasn't been edited at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the lighting was crazy. The lighting like, was the, hot. Some of the lighting that they did, you could literally it was it was white light in there, and then they were able to do some kind of filter or something on the on the camera to where when you see it on the monitor, it's like straight up blue, like. Go figure. Yeah, it was a very pretty electric blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. guys I had to worry about what I was playing and I had to be accurate every time because you know as a drummer 
Mm -hmm. When you're when you're looking at the video, if there's supposed to be a snare shot and I'm playing the toms, like obviously anybody worth their salt is gonna be like, oh yeah, he's not playing the right thing. <laughs> to it be accurate but don't worry if you hit a rim shot or if you accidentally hit something you weren't supposed to chances are it's not going to make the cut or you know even if it does make the cut it's probably not going to be recognizable so the passion in your playing is going to come out more than the accuracy. <laughs> time man I had an amazing time hotkey studios um, was absolutely amazing summer avenue studios the place where we shot in location was amazing mm -hmm. um, they catered for us super amazing dudes everybody was really nice um, five stars well we'll have to switch out for a different link which is fine I think MVP goes to James. Like, in all honesty, no <laughs> offense, Joel, you were great. No, but this guy had to play, I don't know how many times, because, like, you were in literally every single shot. It was 30, I, I played 30 takes. I kind of Are you serious? Yeah, I played 30 Hot takes. Dang. But I remember at, between takes, I would walk over, they had this one little fan that was, like, $20 from Target or something. And I'd go up there with my shirt and, like, sweat prevention <laughs> over here. Just <laughs> That was an issue, though, that we ran into with Joel, because there was some sweat, and obviously as the front man, yeah. you know, like, it's obvious, it, it, you can see it, <laughs> so. And, um, and in the, and take a look in the video, there's, there's a scene that I recorded where Joel is, I'm on the monitor, right? So you see the blue, and then I pan away to Joel and you can see the white. That's what we're talking about on the filter on the lens. But like, I took that shot because I saw Joel on there and I was like, man, that is sex on a stick right there, you know? <laughs> yeah, they did and, pretty good. and David did a great job because like, I've kind of seen some of the previews and like when he steps up to sing the background, like I feel it, like the passion, it came through the lens. So I, I really feel like the passion that he put in into that because like I, I I hear the background vocals and I feel them and I know that sounds crazy but kudos to David. Oh man, passion in. thanks man. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that illusion came through as well. <laughs> and then when the hand yeah, gets into yeah. it. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Marty, Marty doing some of that. <laughs> Walk in. We signed this wall. And there's Blake. <laughs> what up, dude? We're gonna film this wall real quick. We're the first people to be in this studio. Sign the wall. Pretty cool. Awesome. Except for my uh, rendition of the Swell Spies logo. <laughs> Uh, anyways, and we did it, dude. It was we awesome, it. man. Shout out to Hockey Studios. Shout out to Summer Avenue Studios, man. These guys are awesome. Five out of five. Great job. It's amazing. <laughs>